and his truth endureth to all generations. When we get God's truth, when we accept that God is good, when we accept that God is not bringing your trouble, your tribulation, your pain, when we start accepting that God is good, I don't care what you're going through, it is not of God if it's not good. It is not of God if it's not blessed, if it's not of favor. Amen. The Bible says God is good. And in James, he says, there is no change or alteration to that. He says he's good all the time. Can somebody say God is good? I want you to just rise with me today. And I want you to not just lift your hands, but lift your hearts to the Lord. Because we serve a good God. The Bible says, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. How blessed is the man that takes his refuge in him. Is your refuge in God? Is your refuge in God? Or is your refuge in people? Is your refuge in material things? Where's your refuge? But he said, if you put your trust, if you make me your refuge, he said, listen, I'm going to make all things work out for your good. Oh, somebody know what I'm talking about. You might not even understand what's going on in your life right now. But God said, listen, I can turn it for your good. How many of y'all believe that? Come on, let's just look to heaven. Dear gracious and heavenly father, we pray in the mighty and majestic name of Jesus that you, Lord God, would open the very hearts of your sons and your daughters today. Father, I ask that you would download it into our spirits that you are good. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, God, I thank you this morning huh, that you are a good God, huh, even on bad days. I thank you, Lord God, you are a good God uh, in the midst of our trials and our tribulations. Uh, Father, I want to thank you this morning uh, that you are so good. Uh, and Lord, uh, you take care of those uh, that love you, those that honor you, and those that reverence you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, you keep us in the shelter of your arms. Uh, a robo shakara. Somebody know about God being good today. Somebody knows that there is no one that is good except for God. Father, we thank you for your abundant love. We thank you for your abundant goodness and your, your forgiveness of our sins today. Oh God, we magnify you. We exalt you in this place. I need some people to give God some reverence right now. Some glory and some honor in the mighty name of Jesus. You said that you are faithful, oh God, throughout all generations. Oh Father, we bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank you for every good gift that you've given unto us, oh God. Oh, Father, you are the Father of lights. Now, Father, shine on us today. Shine in our hearts today. Oh, God, download, drop your presence more and more in this place in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that we will trust in you, Lord, with all of our hearts. Oh, Father, we thank you that we'll be a light to others uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, and that each and every one of us, I decree, uh, will go about doing good uh, for the kingdom of God. Uh, oh, Father, let good works uh, flow up out of this place like never before. Uh, stir your sons and your daughters, oh God, uh, that they will do good. Uh, they will do good. Uh, they will seek others and not just themselves. Uh, I break that spirit of selfishness. 
is. I commanded to leave in the name of Jesus, where I'm only consumed in considering myself, but we will consider others in the name of Jesus. Oh, we bless you. Come on and bless them right now. I need somebody to lift their hands and give God some wonderful glory in this place, oh God. Thou art lovely. Thou art wonderful, oh God. Oh God, we thank you today, oh God, for your loving kindness, oh God, for your riches and your goodness in the name of Jesus. Roma Though I suffer long, I will forbear in God because He is my hope. He is my trust. Oh God, I thank you. Somebody need to lift their voice up in that heavenly language. I bless you today, O God. I decree in this place all that we're going forth in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you for your son, Jesus. Oh, I thank you, God. That you will never fail us. God will never fail you. Oh, I thank you, Lord. You'll never, never fail us. For thou art with us all the time. We just need to do the right thing. And God will take care of the rest. Oh, God, help us to do the right thing. Help us to walk in righteousness. In the name of Jesus, we bless you, Lord. And we honor you in this place because you're so worthy. Now, if you just lift your hands. Oh, and put your heart on the Lord. We honor you, God. Hallelujah. We bless you, oh God. Wonderful Jesus, Almighty Savior, sweet Jesus, glory to God. Somebody need to give him glory because you're here today. You got strength in your body right now. Say glory to God. Hallelujah. He woke you up this morning. So glory to God. Hallelujah. I bless you, oh God. I thank you, oh God. Hallelujah. You're covering us in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you. Can I get some grateful folks that just want to say thank you, Lord. I just want to thank you, Lord. I thank you for your goodness, God. I thank you for your son, oh God. I thank you, oh God. I thank you this morning, oh God, for your word. Oh, I thank you for your abundant goodness in the mighty name of Jesus. Because you are Lord. And you've given us all power and authority to walk out this word. Father, we love you. And we bless your holy name. And they all said, Amen.
do I would have you can have your oil open it up a little bit we're not going to use it just yet but have it open for you okay and nearby and then we're going to go to the communion after we finish the oil just follow me by step okay we got our herb okay after we got the oil done then we got the communion okay you should have gotten your cup and everything that's there we're okay all right Take it one, one step at a time. We have it. We have the bread, and then we're going to open up the cup. All right. Lord, today, today is another day. Ooh, God is good. Okay? Just keep leading that by you. I have to put it next to you or some, place it where you're at so you can tap into it once we get to those portions. Amen? Now, notice here. Um, in verse number 15, he said, the wine that maketh glad the heart of man and all to make his face to shine and bread, which strengthens men's heart. So we have gladness, then we have shining, and then we have strength. We have the wine, we have the oil, and we have the bread. We have everything, isn't there? If we'll do what the scripture says, then we can get or tap in to what the scripture says. Okay, now, let me just give you some understanding. As a matter of fact, how many of y'all 
came today to hear, to believe, and for God to move. <laughs> I only heard there's a few of y'all. How many of y'all? I came today to the anointing service for the express purpose to hear from God, then believe from God, then to receive from God. I didn't come to church just to be shown or seen, but I came to receive. <laughs> oh, glory to God. That is so sudden, I can feel it. Glory to God. Now, now, now let's go to, so we see we've got the oil, we've got the wine, we've got the oil, and then we've got the bread. Now, if, now when we talk about the wine, the first part that we have the wine here, the wine, which is, the, is for the gladness of heart. The joy of the Lord is my strength. You know, in Philippians chapter, uh, chapter 4, Paul said it, well, I'm sorry, uh, in, in chapter 4, verse 4, he said, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. So what am I rejoicing? I am to have a joy and to have a joy again. So therefore, it is necessary that I live a life that is full of joy in it. Sadness and madness don't make me glad. Are you with me now? Now look at what he says here. Now, because the wine was so important and it produces, uh, it produces gladness, let's look here. <laughs> Glory to God. Look at the book of uh, Proverbs chapter 17. Proverbs 17 and 22. Okay. Proverbs chapter 17 and 22. Look at what it says. He said, a merry heart doth good like a what? A medicine, but a broken spirit drieth up the what? The bones. So it is necessary for us to have merriness or to be merry. It means be happy. It just, you know, to be joyful, praise God. So when you're sad, you lose strength. Because then, in the matter of fact, in Nehemiah chapter 8, he said, for the joy of the Lord is my strength. So I'm strengthened as I rejoice in the Lord. Very simple, but it's very powerful. Notice when you're depressed, you don't, you're not very happy about nothing and no one. You might be mad at someone, though, but it, but it, it depletes you from what God has for you. For the Bible said, the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteous, peace, joy in the Holy Ghost, according to Romans chapter 14, verse 17. So therefore, peace and joy and righteousness that comes from the kingdom. So therefore, we're getting representation from the kingdom as we're walking in gladness. God's good, isn't he? Another thing, another usage for the, for the wine, it was supposed to be part, it was supposed to be part of the um, the, the part given to God, and they called it a drink offering. They called it the what? A drink offering. The drink offering was given to God by the Levites. <laughs> now, the Levites is the Old Testament, but I want to bring you about the Levites for the New Testament. Let's go to the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 5. Glory to God. If you didn't know it, but this is going to help you to understand a little bit. Let's go down here to verse number 9. Revelation chapter 5, verse number 9. Now, I'm so glad that you're not scared of Revelation. Now, some people have been teaching, oh, don't look at Revelation. It's, gonna, it, it's only a book. Matter of fact, it told it blessing are those that read the book of Revelations. You can read that in the first chapter. But look at what it said in verse number nine. And they sang a song saying, 
thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seal thereof. For thou was slain and has redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred, tongue, and people, and nation. Now, who is that? Who is that? Whose blood redeems? So whose blood is for everyone in the earth? Look at what the blood has done for us. Verse 10. And has made us. We weren't that way. Hello. We weren't. Now I'm reading ahead. We weren't this particular way. But what the blood has produced. Look at what it has produced. Thou has made us. Made us unto our God. First what? First kings. And what? And priests. And watch this. And we shall reign on the what? Y'all still in Jefferson. Y'all still. The Bible is telling us that we're those that worship God in the spirit. Philippians talks about chapter 3. We're those that worship God in the spirit. And so then, now, we understand that that blessing is present. He said, I'm not supposed to be dominated in the earth. I'm supposed to dominate the earth. Are we we got that? So so hold it now. So if circumstances on the earth, which I am on the earth, is dominating and ruling over me, it's out of order. One of the things where, where whereby it's out of order is because while someone is deceived, see, Satan has no greater power than when he first met with man and he used the power of deception. He used the power of what? Except, a matter of fact, when you read in the Bible, in, uh, I think it's chapter 9, chapter 12, verse 9, it talks about that he deceiveth the whole world. He deceiveth the what, though? For, so if you're in this world, he can deceive you. Now, that's a believer and the saint. Jesus made the statement, you'll know the what? The truth and the truth shall, what? shall make you free. That's because you wasn't free, so it had to make you. It had to create in you. Making is a creative word. I had to make you free. I'm freeing you by the truth. Truth. So I'm. So God uses truth to free us, while Satan uses lies to bind us. Yeah. Are y'all with me now? Yeah. So therefore, so I understand. I can reign in life, but one of the things. Well, let me go back. One of the things the enemy want to do is to make sure you're in deception. His first modus operandi, his first intent. Now watch this. How is that? When, when mankind met the devil for the first time, he met, we met the devil. We're talking about in Adam now. Adam and Eve, y'all. Mankind was, had an encounter with the devil for the first time. That encounter consisted of him being a subtle creature. He, didn't, he used the disguise. So then, therefore, to deceive you, I've got to disguise the deception. So through the disguise of Eve, he tricked her and Adam, her and Adam together. But it all started by deception. And it was confirmed after she figured, you'll be like God. If we think that we're going to be like God or be a... a we, we have the right because we're children, but being just in this world by itself, and we got to have this special power, this special anointing, you no, know, this special knowledge. That's what some cults and stuff use, give you a special kind of knowledge that you all are separate from everybody else. Separation will bring domination. I said separation will bring domination. I said separation will bring domination. But God has called us to love one another. Not to just love ourselves, but to love one another. Are you still with me? Now, so we see the wine. Now the wine, as you have it, what's the, not, what's the wine in? It's in a what? Uh, very simple. It's, I'm, it's in a what? It's in a, it's in a cup. Okay, now, let's go here to the book of uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 10. 
Can I teach a little bit before we get through going? First Corinthians chapter 10. And let's go down here to verse 15. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 15. I'm just talking about the instruments that we already have before us. Okay? Now, chapter 10 and verse 15, look what it says. It says here, he said, yea, uh, yea, and we are, we are, all right. Maybe if I read the right one, I'm okay. That'll really help us. You know, it will be do good. See, y'all are prophetic people. How come y'all didn't tell me I wasn't in the right book? Okay, now, that's good, that's good isn't it? Now, again, 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 15. Y'all got it, right? Y'all got it, right? Don't make no mistake. Y'all got it, right? Okay, because I, I ain't going to tolerate y'all. Y'all don't get the right verse now. Praise God. God's good, isn't he? Watch this. And I say as to, the, as to wise men, judge ye what I say. The cup of what? Of blessing, which we, what? We bless. All right. Is it not? the communion of the blood of Christ, mm -hmm. the bread which we, which we break. Is it not the communion of the body of Christ? So the cup is a blessing. Maybe I'm more excited. There's a, we just, we're not just taking it in this, the cup by itself which contains the, the wine, the cup, it, the cup causes the blessing. You know, when I, I like to, I like to drink tea. And uh, when I go into my living room, uh, by law, <coughs> by some people, and uh, that. I need to make sure that I don't leave no tea stains on the table. Okay? And uh, so, you know, because cause if, if you leave tea stains or coffee, some of y'all leave coffee stains. But if I leave the tea stain on there, it's going gonna, it's gonna to mar the, the, the cloth, the, you know, the tablecloth and everything else. Right. So I got to be careful of it, right? So what I have to do, I have my coffee cup but I put it under a saucer. Y'all yeah. ain't still talking. I put it under what? A saucer. So you, that's why you got to be around people that are overflowing with the blessing. If, if I may not be overflowing, at least I'm, I may not be right, but I'm going to get with somebody. I'm going to get up under something. So what? Well, pours out on them because there's an overflow coming to the believer. There's an overflow in their lives. And that, oh, I'm catching the overflow. A lot knew about the overflow because when Abraham was trying to get rid of, he said, no, I'm going to follow you as long as I can. Because when Lot followed Abraham, he was blessed. He was a blessed one, but he was around blessing. And because he's around the blessed, blessed. around or you get up under they may stress you people will tolerate you but won't celebrate you so stop being around the tolerance of you celebrate you y'all ain't talking that's real good I mean I want to get around some people because we've been around too many haters I ain't fighting a hater I'm leaving the haters. I'm going to get with some people. I'm, 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 I'm getting on with some people that's going somewhere. They're going in the right place I'm going. Brother Benji, y'all just get me calm down. Calm down. Calm down, Reverend. Okay, now, see, it's important. The cup of blessing. Now, it's also used as a, for, for it's, a disinfectant. Matter of fact, the wine is also used as medicine. Are y'all with me? Now, what happened? How do you get it? Well, in Luke chapter 10, Brown, verse 34, 35, when and when the good Samaritan came by and he was wounded, he poured wine and oil. 
poured wine and oil on the on the wound of the Samar- or of that individual that was carjacked. Hello, praise God. You, you know, and let Samaritan picked him up. Sometimes you can't just keep. You're going to have to be the good Samaritan. There is a hospital, but that would be the good Samaritan to some people. People can't believe what you're saying, but they can watch what you're doing. They won't remember what you say. So these are things we've got to get a hold of and grab. So because the wine cleanses the wounds. And the med can I can I teach a little bit more? The medicine. Now watch this. Now look at. I don't know. Uh, let's go with some balance. Can, can we be balanced as I teach this part here? Okay, go with me to verse twenty-three. Praise God. Now, is used as medicine. So for drunkards, they're over medicated. Because I said they're over medicated. Look at what the Bible says here. Again, in verse 23, chapter 5, correct? Chapter 5, verse 23. He said, a little what? Little. I like that whole thing. A little. Little. L-I-T-T-L-E. Little <laughs> wine. And thy often what? Thy infirmities. If, you know, infirmities means weakness. At that time, they would drink the water, and if you were to go to the water. So Timothy was in a place where the water was not good, and it bothered him. Some things, you know that today, because there's some food that you like but don't like you back. Now watch this. They liked you when you were younger, but they turned on you now you're older. Deal with me now. Whole whole thing. I used to date it, but I can't do it no more. Mm-hmm. For today. Amen. Grab the cup if you would. <laughs> No, it's a little bit out of order, but we're going to just follow that route. Say this to me. Father God, I thank you for this cup. Receive my blessing right now. Receive it. Okay. I know the bread and wine. Just follow me. So you got the wine taken care of, okay, and the cup. Next item that we got is the oil. Next item is what the oil. Now when we talk about the oil was for the purpose of your face to be able to shine. Some of y'all need a encounter with God. We'll know you've met, you've you've had a face to face with God, and your face. Will Moses, when he had, he shined so much that they had to put a veil over his head. In other words, there's a supernatural that's about to take place. A matter of fact, there's a glow. 
because there's a groin about to be present. See, it expresses, you know when you look at somebody, you can tell that that person's sick or not. Don't have a smile or something. But when their face is shining, I want you to shine. He said, arise and shine. Arise and shine, for the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. So after we using the oil, come in the glory. God, a while back, he came, he, he he had did some uh, time in jail, and he came to me, and uh, he, he he was in, he's in, he had gotten saved, and he was talking about don't my, don't you see the new look on my face and and everything shine? I said not really, but. You it can be natural, but it's not warranted by being natural. So that shining, that God, he, he said we're, okay, can I go a little bit further? Can I go a little He said that we was a light set upon a hill. You ain't supposed to put it under a bushel. It's supposed to give light up on top. So it can illuminate all around it. You're about to come around you. They couldn't see, but they're going to be able to see now because you're bringing the light. You are the light. Hey, hey. Oh, glory to God. See, the anointing, it was also representation of the anointing. And when you talk about now anointing, they, they would only anoint the priests. I mean, they would, they would anoint the kings. Now, remember, we just read that we were kings and priests unto the Lord, right? So this is. Oh God. I said, it's right for you to be anointed. Oh, God. Oh, God, thank you. So that anointing belongs to God's people. Glory to God. I don't know about you, but it just feels so good. Let, let's go here. Chapter 6. St. John, chapter 6. Let's go down to verse 55. Oh, glory. Mm -hmm. All righty. Huh? Look at what he said. As a matter of fact, let's go up to, uh, let's go to 52. It's a little bit ahead, but I want to bring it, look at this, if you would. He said, the Jews, therefore, stole, stole, saying, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? And when Jesus said unto them, very, very, I say unto you, except ye eat flesh of the Son of Man, blood. Ye have no life in you. So when we just partook of the cup, life was being poured in. Y'all just, <laughs> it's not just simple. It's life was being poured. Look what he said in verse 15. My flesh and drinketh my blood. We hadn't had the blood is the, the bread is the body. But he said, when that time takes place, whosoever eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath raised him up at the latter day. I'm going to do it. I'm going to raise him up from the latter day. So the bread and the wine together constitute the resurrection power. Glory to God. 
look at, look at, as, watch this, as the living, I live by the Father, so, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. This is that bread which came down from heaven, not as your father and are dead, but he that eateth of this bread shall live for how long? I couldn't just separate the bread. Satisfied set of people. A satisfied set of people. A set of people. Now, can I go a little further? Also with that anointing, you're going to leave it up here. Some of you have it. In, but look what the anointing is about to do. First, let's go over here. To the book of um, praise God, Mark, Mark six, Mark's Gospel chapter six. Thank you, Lord. All right, praise God. Now, once you get to chapter six, let's go down here to verse twelve and verse thirteen. Matthew chapter six. And verse 12 and verse 13. We're all right. <laughs> Look at what he says. And they went out and preached that men should what? Should so your message to the world is that they should repent. They should turn. They should turn away from the evil one. Are you still with me? So if, if you're if you're not preaching repentance, you're not preaching. You can preach prosperity and everything else, but you can't prosper if you have a God. He want to change. That men have. The repentance will bring about the change that's needed. Oh God. The change that's going to take place. Look at this. Look here with me. Go to Isaiah. Somebody say the anointing. I was preaching about the anointing. And was talking about anointing. The anointing to what? To, to do. Now, now look here. Let's go to, again, Proverbs chapter 10. Mm -hmm. Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 27. I'm sorry, did I say Isaiah? Where? Okay, Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 27. Look what it says. That day, somebody say today, today, that his burden shall be taken away from off his shoulder, off thy neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed because. Oh, y'all just said <laughs> yoke breaking anointing, yoke breaking anointing. Yoke breaking anointing. Yoke breaking. Let's let's go to one more. Let's go to the book of Luke, chapter four. Mm -hmm. Luke's gospel, chapter four. Next week, I, I got to teach you this week. God's good, isn't he? Okay, 
Luke's Gospel, chapter 4. Look at verse 18. Now, the spirit is going to get in the oil. Y'all don't. Paul off his body and pass to others. And by that anointing, that transference of anointing, he could put it on sick people. He didn't have to be there. But their body anointing that was already on Paul. But we just represented it. Uh, yeah, we'll do this. Okay, I will. Luke's Gospel, chapter 4. The Lord is what is upon me because he have done. He's anointed me, watch this, to do what? To preach the gospel to the what? Then he have sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Ain't some brokenhearted people around? Brokenhearted to preach deliverance to the captives and covering of sight to the blind and to set at liberty them that are what? They're bruised. Oh, glory. But what that are bruised, and when we talk about we talk about bruised, King James had the new King James said, "Oh, haven't you met some pressed some people that are oppressed? No people that you know they impress. They're oppressed. They have, have this is a New Testament translation." In other words, they got a habit. You understand? <laughs> they got a, okay, they got an addiction. Yeah. Now, one thing about addiction, the person with the addiction don't believe it's an addiction. That's why they're deceived in the addiction. Yeah. Addicted, then they can get a change. But until they still believe the lie, y'all yeah. with me now? Hallelujah. See, they can't get free because they don't want to lay hold to the truth. The truth is, you are Alcoholic. Now and then, I, I just need a little bit. Now, when you're an alcoholic, you use it excessively. Yeah. Over intoxication. Let's go on. Let's go to another one. Oh, oh glory. Go to Mark's Gospel. Again, still talking about that oil. Oil. Okay. Oh, glory. God's good, isn't he? Because mm -hmm. look at uh, verse 13, chapter 6, verse 13. I think we, I left there, didn't I? I'm sorry. Forgot to get this point in because this is important. That's why the Holy Ghost repeats. We had, we had uh, Mark's Gospel, chapter 6, and we had read verse 12, but we're going to go to number 13. I kind of bypassed that. But look at what they did. And they, uh, they cast out many devils and anointed with oil many. They cast out many devils and anointed many that were sick. Anointed many that were sick. And heal them. As you anoint them, well, Bishop, what if it don't work? Keep working it. Just cause something, something may be wrong with you that ain't working because word, God's word is true. Now check this out. Somebody else, why can't it work for you? You're the only one that's making a difference. But God's word, if you'll, remember I said, if you'll believe and receive. Because this oil now is for it's the grace of God on you as well. Now, let me give you this last one because it's precious. It's precious. Now, go with me to Acts chapter 10. Just give me a, just give me a little time. Okay. Act to 
10. Let's go up to verse 37. Acts chapter 10, verse 11. That word I say, ye know, which was published throughout all and from Galilee after the baptism which John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with what? With went about went about doing good, and then what? Look at the good and what and that were oppressed of the devil. Why? So when you go. Y'all, God will be with you. If God is with you, God will be for you. God will, God will help you. So don't be afraid. Don't. Sometimes, you know, it, it, in order to become good at something, you're going to have to the keyboard or something like that playing. You're going to have to repetition causes permanency. So therefore, once God, the Holy Ghost will be with you, he'll show you fault is why it isn't work. Whenever God doesn't, we don't, you know what our problem is, a lot of Christians, we say it don't work and happy and then we walk away. Well, I guess it's not supposed to. No, we need to stop, be like Joshua, fall on the ground. No. Because something is supposed to be, something is it, supposed to work, but when it don't work, it's not the item, it's not God, so check it out, it's got to be me. So then therefore, God, correct me, because I want to be right. I don't want to hinder somebody, because it's, y'all ain't talking, I, it's supposed to work. Now, now, this was not for just uh, the apostles. This is for the disciples. Now, let me get. Now, if you now a disciple is a follower of a master. So let's say Jesus, our master. Church creed, not following just people, but we we, we follow the Lord. Now, Paul made the say, follow me as I follow Christ. So now we have. OK, so we have leadership. Now, so since it's a fellowship that's necessary, <laughs> maybe I need to check like I should. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I can, uh, it's almost get in a minute. So therefore, now, now, that anointing to do good, that anointing to do good, that anointing to do good. That anointing. That anointing. That empowerment. That authority. Hmm. The authority. How you gonna do what you gonna do? Because I have the authority. In the midst of traffic or some kind of conflict in on his hand up, and all them cars gonna stop. Not because he got the strength to push him, but he got the authority to push him. Hello, he got he stands authority, and everything back it up. Got everything got to back up and stop because of what the. Crossing over to my message this week, rather. See, behold, I have given you authority. Well, when did I get it? Once I got born again, I got the authority. Once I've met Christ and and Calvary. So check it out. The throne of heaven backs me up. The throne of heaven backs me up. The God on the throne backs me up. 
The angels back me up. The 424 elders back me up. All of heaven back. Hiccup, I shot up. Yeah, yeah, back up, backing me up. What if you don't believe it? You'll never receive it. If you don't believe it, you'll never receive it. Now go with me if you would. The book of Leviticus. The book of Leviticus in the Old Testament, chapter uh, 14. Leviticus. Bible thumping today, praise God, all right. Leviticus chapter 14, and let's go down to verse 14, if we would. So we understand that we're pre kings and priests unto the Lord already. We, we had that understanding out of Revelation 5, and five 9, and 10, right? Y'all got that? So with that conscience, I'm so glad y'all y'all are making this easier for me. Look at verse 14. And the priest shall take some of the blood. The priest shall put it upon the tip of the right ear of him that is uh, that is cleansed, and upon the thumb of him of uh, I'm sorry, the thumb of his right of his right foot. All right, y'all got the oil? Y'all got oil? Read that again for me. So the right ear, right? Now this is so, all, well, you ain't got to do all that. We just, do, we working it out. You go ahead. We under, we're doing the old and new. Because we learn it. Amen. Okay? Now, what, so knowing it comes first on the. And the of the blood okay. of the trespass offering, okay. and the priest shall put it up here. Okay, now we would have used the you know we would have used the uh, wine, but we got to get it inside. So yeah. now you're gonna put it what on the tip tip of what? Why the tip? He that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the. For he that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto him. When you hear the word of the Lord, if you got, if Ooh, hallelujah. So we come again. The name of Jesus, I command mm, deafness to come from the people. They'll hear the voice. Hearing is next. How can I have faith without the ability to hear? Oh God, we command right now by your word the hearing ear. We command the hearing. They are hearing. They're hearing. They're ear. It'll get down to my heart. It'll go through my ears and get down to my heart. Thank you, Lord. Listen, he's the Hallelujah. God of hearts. He's if you give your heart, then he. Hmm. So we put it right here. The next one now. Of him that is to be cleansed. Okay. And upon the thumb. So you got it on your thumb? Put a little oil on that. You may have to refresh it. Hallelujah. Go ahead and refresh it. Hallelujah. You know, the devil on that right thumb. Yes, Lord. Your thumb. Glory. See, the simple eludes us. It, 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 we, we, we are discounting just the simple things. Hallelujah. That, uh, that that oil, that lubricant, that anointing. Do the next one for me. 
Now we got the right thumb. We did the right ear, we did the right thumb. And what's the last one? And upon foot. Okay, now, since you already got the thumb, come on, put it right there. Just put it right there. Somebody dab you right quick. Please don't do a cross. Okay? You know how some people, you got to, no, you ain't got to do um, I mean, right there, it's, you should be able to, big toe. you all got that, right? We, yes, upon the big toe. Upon the big toe. Of the right foot. So, hey, yo, listen. Blessed are those, blessed are the feet of those who bring the news. Yes. Y'all ain't, blessed are the feet of those. Those <laughs> who bring in good news. Hey, glory. Hey, glory. God's good, isn't he? That's on our job. Hey, 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 hey. You just didn't do something. You obeyed the voice of the Lord. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Well, I don't know why. Just obey. Don't have questions. Obey. Thank you, Lord. Come on, do it. The toe, the big toe, the right foot, should be and rusty. Because you are now anointed that. Why? Because the steps of a righteous man or a righteous woman are ordered by the Lord. Your steps, God about to, he's got an assignment for somewhere you need to go. He's taking you some places. He's taking some places with his anointing. He wants you to travel and move. Your steps, your stepping, where you step at is anointed. Matter of fact, Jesus. Jesus said, if those that won't receive you, shake the dust off your foot. Shake the dust off your foot. Shake the dust off your foot. Is the big toe by my foot? Shake the some, all some y'all gotta shake off all those people that wouldn't receive you, wouldn't receive the word from you, wouldn't receive what God said to you for them. Shake it off of you because they are rejecting not you, but they're rejecting the one that sent you. worship him. Come on, just worship him. I feel the presence of the Lord is in here right now. The anointing also represents the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God is upon you. It's upon your ears. It's upon your feet. Koratana shata akonatasa Yes, those that are watching receive the anointing right now. It's transferable. God, God is so awesome. Where you're at, now, you're gonna have to take this. God is not a respecter of person, but him that will work righteousness, he will come and bless you. Now we got one more item. I don't know about you, but I, I feel like running. I feel like I feel I feel like running. Hey, hey, hey. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Uh-huh. talked about the communion cup, the cup of blessing, and then the blood of Christ was the body of Jesus Christ also. So now let's take up the bread, which is called the staff of life, which represent a set of people that are well fed. A set of people that are well fed. It's about to get good it's about to get plenty. They used to have a candy in my day called Good and Plenty. Turn to your neighbor and say, it's about to get good, and it's about to get plenty. And you still there without praising it? Hey, hey. Receive it and believe it. Receive it. You've heard it, now believe it. Now receive it. Receive it. It's coming to you. Faith cometh. Cometh, it cometh. It cometh, it cometh. It cometh to heal you. As well as you go on others, it's going to heal you first. Then as you go to others. Okay. Oh, Lord, we come on and give Jesus a great big. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we did, for those that want to just worship, just worship him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm -mm -mm. Glory. Give him some glory. Give Jesus some glory. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory, Jesus. Glory, Jesus. Glory, Jesus. Chateau. Ah. Hey, glory, glory. Glory, glory. The amber fires are already flowing out now. Hey, glory. right now there's a praise due to God and he wants expects it from you but he want you haven't given it to him but he needs you to give him that praise he's from you that tells him that you recognize that he's been good to you he's done so much for you and you all, oh y'all anybody that got in here that God done did something for you and you're celebrating what God has done for you. You're praising God for what God has done for you. Are you uh, any grateful folk in the house today? Any grateful folk in the house? Any thankful folk in the house? Hey God, yay hey God, yay hey God, yay hey God, yay hey God. Yes, yes Lord, yes Lord. Sa -ta -ta. Yes Lord. Please be seated for a moment. We'll finish up. I just got this little last part. Mm -hmm. Remember the bread. Again, we call it the staff of life. Mm -hmm. The staff of what? Life. Now, we just read in, in St. John, Jesus said, if you eat of my flesh, then you'll have eternal life. Now, the bread, number one, talking about the body of Christ. 
there's about to be brought to you from receiving the bread a supernatural change. Go with me to the book of Job. The book of Job. The book of Job. And verse 25. Matter of fact, can we go to 24? Can you just go up one more that'll help us? Contextual wise, I want to just read this. Hey, glory. We had with verse 24, chapter 30, 33, and verse 24. All right, we there. If you're there, say amen. amen. He said, Watch this. Then he is gracious unto him that saith, Deliver him from going down to the pit. I have found a ransom. He said, I've given my life as a ransom. Ransoms was in those times, King James times, was for uh, royalty when they were royal and they would keep them for hostage and put a ransom, you know, and put up how much, you know, a certain amount to get the person back. But I have found the ransom when Jesus gave himself for me. He ransomed himself for me. I have found my ransom. And my ransom's name is Jesus. Oh, y'all just. He delivered me. Okay, y'all just. Hey, hey, glory to God. I found my ransom. I, 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 listen, I have one to pay for my sins want to pay for my crimes. Heaven is declaring me free from the debt I owe. Look at verse 25. And look what it says. His flesh shall be fresher than a child's. He shall return to the days of his youth. So eating the bread is going to reverse aging. Y'all not talking. Because I have found the ransom, which is Jesus, and my ransom is paid, I'm brought back to God. That's called redeemed. And because I'm brought back to God, by the blood and by the body of Jesus, hey, God is satisfied. And because of it, I'm going to do something to my flesh. Because of his flesh that I'm about to receive, it's going to do something to my flesh. What it's going to do is reverse the aging process. You're about to get fresh. Ain't no aloe vera juice here. It's just the bread and the body of Jesus Christ. You're about, y'all ain't talking to me. Your health is about to be restored. There's, there's a glow. I don't know. If you get younger, that means you look better. If you get younger, you go, your health problem is going to go. He's talking. Ah, y'all just. Fresh. 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 Let's hold that bread up. Father, we thank thee for the bread. Lord, as your word has declared that our flesh is now about to become fresher, a renewing, <laughs> a regeneration is about to take place now. We thank you for receiving it right now. In Jesus' name, you may break. Talking to somebody. Ooh, oh, glory. Oh, yeah. Fire. Fire. He said, I baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. You're about to be lit up. You're going to be invigorated. Hey, 
hey, hey, hey, fire, fire, Holy Ghost, fire, sha ta ta ta, burn away the chaff, ba to ta, hey, hey, shoto ma ka, hey, hey, yes, uh, fire, the fire, fresh baptism, fresh baptism, fresh baptism, oil and fire, fresh baptism of oil and fire, fresh baptism of oil and fire. I received it. Hey. I command sickness, infirmities to go from them right now. I command to go from the knee area right now. I command to go from the hip area to go right now. Loosen them in the name of Jesus. If you'll believe that, come on and reach out and grab that. Oh God, I thank you. He will listen to your prayer. He will answer your prayer. God spoke it, and God going to make it good for you. God going to make it good for you. God going to make it good. God going to make it good. God going to make it good for you. God's about to make it good for you. Have he spoken, shall he not do it? God's going to make it good for you. Your God. Your God. Your God. God. Oh, my God. Look at what you have done for me. Fresh way of thinking. Renew my thoughts. Renew my perspective of things. New, new, new. Renewing my mind. So I don't be conformed to this world by the transforming of the renewing of the mind. My mind is new. My thoughts are new. My acts are new. I'm not acting like a sin. I'm acting like a saint. Matter of fact, listen, if nothing else, act it out until it arrives. Believe it and you'll receive it. Believe it and receive it. Believe it and receive it. If you believe it, give God a great big hand.